In today's video, I want to bring you five tips for building SOPs. SOPs stands for Standard Operating Procedures. And these are processes and documents that show people in your company how to do all the different tasks that you have to do. You can use a SOP for anything that's repetitive, repetitive tasks for admin, field work, anything down to like when to fuel up your vehicle. Often with newer businesses, they don't take the time to write down and document these processes along the way. And when they start to scale and grow and bring on team members, this becomes one of the main pain points that prevent them from being able to scale easily is that they lack the foundation in their systems and processes. Tip number one, understand your processes. You as the owner, founder of the business, the person that's probably done all the tasks, you're gonna have to take some time to really understand the different processes, do some process mapping, brainstorm just a list of processes that you need for your business to have documented. You're really gonna have to understand the intricacies of this and know that this is gonna be a long process to do this for your whole company if you've never done this before. Really take the time to list out the steps of maybe start with a basic process like how to, let's see, you could do, you know, how to run payroll. That would be an easy one for your admin staff to take over from you and get you out of that process. You could have one for your team, how to clock in, how to use apps. And there's gonna be a lot of ways to do that, but it starts with you understanding the different processes in your company. Tip number two, involve your team. When it's time to start building this out, one of the best things to do is get your team members involved to actually do these processes on a day-to-day. -day. A lot of times as the owner, you make a lot of assumptions in that process tree on how to get things done. You'll skip over steps easily, but if you have someone that actually sits in that role and does that on the day-to-day -to, -day to document it as they go, maybe record a loom of what they're doing on the computer, or even make a video of whatever their task is while they're doing it, you're gonna be able to more clearly document out all the steps in the process if you get your team involved. You can have a team meeting where you guys sit down and brainstorm out the different processes that are gonna be required for each step of what your business does. Tip number three, keep it simple and clear. When you're building out your SOPs, you really want it simplified to a point that anybody that you hire could pick up your SOP processes and understand how to complete that task. Try to avoid using complex language or industry lingo that someone that's coming in fresh might not understand. By building out your processes as simple as possible, it's gonna be easier for your team to adopt those and follow those and even be able to search your database of processes and solve things for themselves without having your input. Clear SOPs and processes that are simple and easy are one of the reasons companies like McDonald's are so successful. They have everything down to a science and a clear SOP that even you know a 15 or 16 year old can crank out the processes accurately. Tip number four, ensure accessibility. You're gonna spend a lot of time building out these processes and they're really not gonna do you much good if your employees don't know where to find them. Some people wanna have an SOP manual in the office and do a print version. That works just fine. You can have an SOP manual for each different role and give that to the person, have you know a binder, a process binder that goes with each person that needs that set of processes. Or you can go digital. You can build it on Google Drive. A lot of people are using Notion right now. You can build it out in Notion and have searchable table of contents with links to different processes. And then there's an infinite amount of other options, Lucid charts, different flow charting software for you to be able to do process mapping and store that information in an organized way so that your team can access that information anytime that they need it. You really do want it to be a clear searchable method of finding the information that they need. You really wanna avoid making it difficult to access this information. Otherwise people are not going to use it. And last tip, tip number five, regularly update and review your SOPs. Things are gonna change. Your business is gonna evolve. You're gonna add new positions. Maybe you change softwares. You're gonna constantly be updating and reviewing these SOPs to you know, maintain efficiency, keep them updated with the actual process that you're currently using. You probably even want a process so that your team members can make suggestions to alter SOPs to make them more streamlined and efficient. Make this part of your quarterly review is that you review SOPs that need to be completed or SOPs that need to be updated with your team and make sure that's something you stay on top of as your business grows and your processes change and update and upgrade. It's gonna be a super important that you stay on top of maintaining your company's SOPs. You could assign that to someone in your operations team to be able to handle the management and facilitation of getting these completed and keeping them updated. Doing this is gonna make your business so much more scalable 
Your SOP manual is gonna increase your intangible value of your business when you go to sell it down the road. And honestly, it's gonna reduce the amount of headaches you have as the owner with people calling you, asking you questions that would be easy to document the process for. Building SOPs is one of those tasks that's gonna be really hard to get going, but once you start, it's pretty straightforward. You just keep picking a different task that you need to document the process and get it cataloged into the system, and then you're good to go. That one's done. This is one of the things that will take you know, six months, but once it's done, it will be a complete set of processes that are gonna free up your time on answering all these questions for people and even training people. Having these clear systems will help you be able to scale so much more easily. So there you have it, five tips for building SOPs for your construction business. Tip one was understand your process. Tip two, involve your team. Tip three, keep it simple and clear. Tip four, ensure accessibility. And tip five, review and update your SOPs regularly. I hope today's video helped you wrap your head around getting started on building some SOPs for your construction business. If you found it helpful, be sure to share this with another contractor friend you have so that they too can implement SOPs into their business. Be sure to tune back in next Tuesday for another contractor tip video. See you next time.